Okay, here's our little experiment with crystals today. A multimeter. This leads connected here across the capacitor. The positive leads going to this copper plate. The negative lead is what we use for our antenna. So we'll start by showing. Capacitance of the circuit is showing about 0.4142 microfarad. That's the size of this capacitor. Open circuit. Short circuit, we have about 1.4 ohms. So that's just the resistance of the cheap wires and the connector here. Okay, I'm going to begin by getting the crystal wet to improve its conductivity. Copper plate. The scales in millivolts. There is some energy that my body is picking up. So I can short circuit that. So, as soon as I probe the crystal, Three volts. I drag the probe across it. You can see I go up over half a volt. So that's the crystal collecting RF energy down into this plate and storing it on the capacitor. When I was about seven or eight years old, my dad gave me a crystal radio set. It was a kit. A coil, a couple of capacitors, a resistor, and a crystal. And I could listen to AM radio stations in my headphones. From northern New Mexico, I could hear Oklahoma City. So in 1874, Carl Braun discovered that metal next to a crystal behaves as a rectifier, meaning it will pass current in one direction but not in the other. In 1902, G.W. Pickard patented the first radio detector or demodulator, which is essentially a diode. And that was really how most people listened to radio, or got introduced to radio. No, no external battery or no wall plug is required. It gets all the energy from the signal that it's, that it's detecting. So you had to use earphones. These are very quiet signals. No way to amplify them. Okay, this is a selenite crystal, 
calcium sulfate, gypsum. Nice thin slice I was able to come up. Just going to get it wet so it's conductive. So you can see it behaves just as the barite did. I can find a good spot on the crystal. See, there are the crystals are reactive right there. Three and a half volts. Okay. So the crystals the anode. The plates the cathode. I'm going to give it another cathode. We see a negative voltage because the black lead is a higher potential than the red lead. So the multimeter sees that as a negative voltage. So if I look at the AC voltage at that point, it's about 42 millivolts. Sure enough, there's the DC voltage, just the top half of the, the waveform. So there's a back to back diode, crystals, the anode, the copper plates, or the cathodes. What our circuit is doing is taking the radio waves, the RF, in this case it's the FM radios that are across the town, coming into this antenna being rectified by our crystal. So only the forward biased energy is going into our cathode. 